Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you why a chainsaw cylinder and piston is all scored up and I'm also going to show you what to do to prevent that. And here's the saw guys, it's a steel MS441. The saw was brought in with the symptoms that it's running lean, it's revving erratically and not idling the way it should. So the very first thing that comes to my mind when people bring a saw in and they say they have these symptoms is that the saw is running way too lean, there's an issue in the carburetor or possibly more. And usually what I like to do at the beginning of most jobs is take the muffler off the cylinder, look at the piston and rings and see what condition they're in. As you can see right here, this one is totally shot. It's extremely scored, the rings are even fused to the piston. There's no way that this will start. If it does start, it will run very, very poorly. And this one here is even scored on the intake side of the piston. Usually I only see the front where the exhaust is. But when I show you exactly what caused this, I think you'll see why there's a bit of scoring at the back as well. Well, maybe some of you guys have already figured out what the problem was and it was the intake boot. There's a large crack in it in one of the ports here. And here's a close look at this intake boot. It doesn't look too bad, but as soon as you look at this port over here, which would be the top one that the car goes through, there's a huge crack here. And it goes right through, you can see my finger. And by the way, this small crack here is enough to make this saw run lean, or actually make any chainsaw run lean for that fact. And if you don't do anything about it right away when you notice your saw's not running quite up to snuff, you're going to end up with this problem. Because over time, the saw will run way too lean, especially if it's under heavy loads, and in the end, that's what it causes. And there is some light surface scoring on the cylinder as well. More so on the exhaust side. This is the intake right here. And have a good look at that. So at this point, uh, I don't even bother repairing these unless somebody wants to buy the OEM kit. And basically when a cylinder is damaged like this, I don't even bother saving it. There's no such thing as rehoning a chainsaw cylinder and buying oversized rings. You just cannot get them. The best thing to do in this case is you replace the cylinder, the piston and the rings. And I would also suggest that you replace the needle cage bearing as well on the piston pin. And before fixing a saw like this, you want to make sure there's no play in the connecting rod when you go up and down. There might be a little bit from side to side like this, which is okay, but you should not have any by pulling up and down like this. And also, if you ever decide to rebuild one of these saws after it's had this damage, you want to do a leak down test to make sure that the crank seals are good as well. Because if one of the crank seals is leaking, your chainsaw will lose some air from the crankcase, it will cause it to run lean, and you will end up with this problem as well. Now, usually when it's a saw like this that's been used a lot, I do not suggest people to fix it. However, if you've got a lightly used saw and somebody forgot to put enough oil in the gas and you end up with that, usually it could be worth fixing, but you're still going to be paying over half price of a new one here in Canada, which I view as a huge incentive to not even bother in the end. Now, what I suggest to prevent this from happening in the first place is to make sure you have a good fuel and oil mixture. I mix all my fuel with the oil at 45 to 1. It's a little bit more than 50 to 1, but it gives it that extra lubrication. Another thing you want to do as well is use some good premium fuel with no ethanol in it as well. And also make sure you don't use old fuel that's been sitting around for a year or two. And if you notice that your saw is running lean at all, the idling is erratic, take it into a professional right away so that you can prevent bigger things from breaking in your engine. And a very important thing to do is to clean your saw regularly. You want to make sure the cylinder is not full of dirt because it will not be cooling as well. And you also want to regularly check the bolts that hold the cylinder to make sure they're all still tight. Sometimes they get loose and the base gasket starts to leak and you end up with issues. And make sure your air filter is clean all the time because if dirt gets in there, it will wreck your piston and cylinder as well. And also very important is to regularly check for cracks in your intake boot. And here's a view of that piston again. This is the intake side here. And the exhaust side is quite bad.
And here are the specs on the saw, MS441. And it's a 71cc chainsaw. So that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to show you what can happen when these symptoms appear and they're not looked after. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to double check all the bolts on your chainsaw as well to make sure they're tight, especially the cylinder bolts. Have yourselves a great day.